Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We have an excellent question here. In one of my videos, I have a similar question with cosines. The question here is, find exact value of sine 10 degrees times sine 30 degrees times sine 50 degrees times sine 70 degrees. We have four options. Now to solve such questions, we use couple of identities. Let me share them with you. So one of the important identities is the co-function identity. Let me write here. Which is that sine theta can be written as cos of 90 minus theta. Same is also true for cos theta. You can also write cos theta as sine 90 minus theta, right? So it makes sense since uh, in a triangle, right angle triangle, right? So if you have a right angle triangle, so that is theta, the other angle is 90 minus theta, right? So from here you get the co-function. Let's say sine is ratio of these two sides for theta. Then for 90 minus theta, that becomes cosine, perfect? So that is straightforward. So this is one formula which we are going to use. The, the other formula which we are going to use is, let me write it here. So that is one concept. The other concept I'll write here is the formula of sine 2 theta, which is equals to 2 sine theta cos theta. Now this formula can also be written as half of sine 2 theta equals to sine theta cos theta, correct? So if you have product of sine theta and cos theta, you could always write that as half of sine 2 theta, clear? So these are the two formulas which you need to know to solve this question. With that, you would actually pause the video and answer this question, right? Okay, so let's see how to answer. Now we are given the question here as sine of 10 degrees times sine of 30 degrees times sine of 50 degrees times sine of 70 degrees. We can convert them into cosines, right? Co-function identity. So 90 minus theta with cos. So we could write this as cos of 90 minus 10, which is 80 degrees. That becomes cos of 60 degrees. This becomes cos of 40 degrees. And this becomes cos of 90 minus 70, which is 20 degrees, right? So first step is to convert them into cos. Now, we need to somehow get product of sine theta cos theta. It equals to double the angle. So if we begin with cos of 20, that is to say, if I multiply and divide this by sine of 20 degrees, right? In that case, what happens? In that case, I get this product sine 20 and cos 20, right? So we get this sine theta cos theta. This can be replaced with half of sine 2 theta. You get the idea, right? So, so the numerator will get sine 2 theta and the denominator will add 2, right? So now we could write, uh, from multiplying and dividing by sine 20 degrees, we could write this as cos of 80 degrees times cos of 60 degrees. Well, cos of 60 degrees, we can place a value for that. You know, it is half, right? So if I have this 30-60 triangle and this angle is 60 degrees, then cos of 60 degrees, half. We'll do it next step. Here we have cos of 40 degrees. Now, cos 20 sine 20 becomes half of sine 2 theta, which is sine of 40 degrees and we have denominator of sine 20 degrees now is that clear to you this step right now what we are going to do we'll replace cos 60 degrees with half right so we are doing one replacement so we are writing this as cos of 80 degrees instead of cos of 60 i'm writing this as half now here you notice that again we have this combination of 
sin 40 and cos 40. So that can be replaced by sin of 80 degrees, right? So that becomes sin of 80 degrees divided by 2. And we already have a term here, which is 1 over 2 sine 20 degrees. Is that clear to you, right? So, so this half is because of cos 60. This sine 80 by 2 is for this particular term in the numerator, cos 40 sine 40. And 2 sine 20 is written right there. Perfect. Okay. So, let me combine all these terms in the denominator which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 sine of 20 degrees, okay. In the numerator, we have sine 80 and cos 80. Let me write this as sine of 80 degrees times cos of 80 degrees. Well, again, we can use this formula, right? So, so again, using this formula, we get what? The numerator now becomes double of 80, that is sine of 160 degrees, over half right so times half and we already have 8 times sine of 20 degrees is that clear to you so sine a cos p is half of sine 2 theta so we are applying this formula a couple of times now we get here in the denominator as 16 sine 20 16 sine of 20 degrees in the numerator we have sine 160 degrees which we could write as sine of 180 degrees minus 20 degrees, right? That is 160 degrees, right? Now, what is sine of 180 minus 20? It is sine 20, right? So, we get sine of 20 degrees divided by 16 sine 20 degrees. Now, sine 20, sine 20 cancel, and you're left with 1 over 16. So, we have option B as the right option, clear? Now this step, which we did 80 minus 20, think like this. We have this angle here, right? So if this, these are the two angles, right? So 180 minus 20 means this, correct? And these two angles are equal. Sine is positive. Therefore, sine of 180 minus 20 is sine of 20, and they cancel away. So this is a very important technique and both type of questions, one in sine and one in cosine, can be done using this technique. The idea is to get one term with sine theta cos theta, and then you keep on doubling the angle and solve as written like this. And here we find related acute angle e equal to 160, right? So that is the related acute angle. right and ultimately numerator denominator sine 20 degrees cancel you're left with 1 over 16 is that clear to you so that is how it could be solved i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best